Howdy, howdy, my friends. It's nice to be with you. Today, we're talking about Mark Rothko, or as we like to call him, Rothke. But first, we got to breathe a breath. And stretch, just stretch way up in the air. Ah, stretch those faces too, make a silly face. Ah. Oh. Oh. Nice stretching, everyone. Welcome. It's nice to be with you. I want you to imagine something for me. I want you to imagine waiting. Do you know what waiting is? Waiting is when you're not allowed to have something just yet. You could wait in line at the grocery store before you can buy your groceries and eat your delicious baked bread. Mmm. I love hot fresh bread. You could wait in line at, <laughs> you could wait in line at a roller coaster, right? And you're so excited because you're ready to go through the, the loop-de-loops and the like whoosh, 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 go a million miles an hour. You're so excited and ready, but you have to wait. Or sometimes you just have to wait to go somewhere. In New York City, where I live, we have things called subways. At a subway, you have to wait for the train to get to your stop so you can get on to go somewhere else. Now, Mark Rothko loved to watch people wait. He loved to see what they did. Were they going to read while they waited? Were they just looking around at the ceiling, maybe imagining a color they love, or imagining somebody that they enjoy hugging, or imagining the taste of a fresh strawberry? He liked to watch and wonder. It's a subway, right? It's all people waiting. Can you imagine where they might be going? I wonder if someone's going to see a movie or go to the amusement park or see a baseball game or buy groceries. What else could they be doing? Imagine. It's hard to see what they're feeling because Rothke didn't really draw their faces. He just drew little dots for eyes. It's just about the colors. You see all the colors in this painting? Look at the very bottom. That beautiful red line that stretches across. When you imagined what it felt like to wait, did it feel kind of like this painting looks? That's what Rothke wanted you to feel. He wanted you to look at this painting and be able to understand what the people in it were feeling. I like how Rothke drew the people very tall. It's almost like they're trees and they keep growing as long as they've been waiting. Even though they don't look like real life people, you can still tell they're people, Rothke people. And the people you draw don't need to look exactly like people in real life either. However you make them look, however you imagine them to look, is A-OK. -okay. Look, I drew a little Rothke person too. Will you draw a Rothke person too? It's super easy. All you have to do is draw them very tall and very narrow. And then take a picture and send it to me. I'd love to see the art that you create. That's all for today, my friends. Now get up, go play, and remember, I love you no matter what comes around.